Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about whether or not you guys should be buying the AirPods first generation, not the second generation, the first generation, the first set of pros, the thing that got amazing noise cancellation when it first came out, it was like, boom, it was so good. And now there's a second generation, which is also very good. But do you guys wanna save a little bit of money and still get something very good? That's what we're gonna be discussing, whether basically it's worth still buying them. And let's get into it. Right off the bat, you're getting a different design. You're getting the silicon tips, not the hard tips that we got from the twos. So that those are a little bit different. Um, personally, I like them better. They force the sound a lot better into my ears. I think that they sound way better than the twos. Like I started on the twos, I'm like, okay, the sound quality is pretty good. It's the first pair of AirPods I've ever had. And then I got the pros and it was like a whole new world. It was way different. The bass is better, the mids, the highs, the lows, they're all so much better. Compared to like the twos, the sound quality is like poopy, not comparable. Uh, you're gonna get active noise cancellation. The noise cancellation on these works, I mean, I, I think it definitely works solid. It's definitely gonna lower everything around it. And then sometimes when I have noise cancellation turned on, and then I take my AirPods out, I'm like, whoa, everything is kind of like loud. I feel like that it did, they do, it does a really good job with really suppressing all that noise. Um, and if you have music playing on top of that, like, you won't be able to hear anything. Like, it's really good, I have to say. Um, transparency mode, I really enjoy it. Just putting one AirPod in my ear, transparency mode. I can, I get that music in the background, and then I can still interact with people. It's really nice. Um, it's not going to have some of the newer features, like the adaptive audio and stuff like that on the new AirPod 2s. But this is still really good. But if you have two AirPods in, even with both transparency mode turned on, you might have some trouble, like, hearing people. But still, very good and very capable. You're going to get all the good stuff. You're going to get up to four and a half hours on a single charge with noise cancellation or transparency mode turned on. It's about four and a half to five hours. It kind of differentiates between how loud your audio is. And you're going to get you're going to get up to more than 24 hours with just the AirPods on transparency mode, no noise cancellation. I am actually unsure, it does not say on Apple's website how long you're gonna get with noise cancellation turned on. But from my personal experience, I can go a whole day with them turned on. It's like, it's re like I said, it's really good, but obviously you're gonna wanna charge them at night or something like that. You're gonna get up to more than 18 hours of talk time on a single charge. And something I really do like is let's say you're working something that's really loud and you wanna get on a phone call with somebody, you just put these bad boys in, noise cancellation turned on, and they can't hear it from their end. But like I was on a call with one time and I had noise cancellation turned on. I'm like, hey, you want to hear how loud it is without it turned off? And he's like, yeah. So turn it off. Boom. He's like, it really hurts my ears. Noise cancellation is that's it's really good, right? And it is really good. You're gonna get just with five minutes in the charging case, you're gonna get up to one hour of listening time or talk time, which is that's only five minutes. That's pretty. That's that's pretty good. It's pretty nice too. I mean, if you only have these the earbuds in there for an hour, they'll charge back up to fully 100%, which again, it's that 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 thing that's pretty good. So, overall, these things have great sound quality, solid noise cancellation, great transparency mode. Sadly no sadly no adaptive audio. It is going to have that man, what is it called like where it's like it tries to focus all the noise around you. And it does sound I don't really know how to explain it. Basically, how they try to explain it is the sound is coming from all around you and versus just in your ears. It's just, it's supposed to simulate it all around you, which it does a solid job. For music, I have it turned on and I just always leave it on. I don't even change between the other ones. I just leave it on. Cause I does think it, I do think it sounds actually slightly bit better, but I don't think that's something I can explain. So maybe if you have a chance to try them out, you can turn it on and be like, oh, I know what he's talking about. These are gonna only charge with the outdated lightning cord, which kind of sucks, but I mean, for only $130, I feel like you're getting a really good device that is gonna work with your Apple ecosystem. I mean, you may might find slightly better noise cancellation for under $100 with some aftermarket, like, I don't know, JBL. I mean, sorry not to be burp, not knocking you JBL. JBL is a good company, but I feel like these AirPods are just gonna work slightly, is gonna work overall better with all your Apple devices versus some Android product. And overall, I would highly recommend these to anybody who wants to save if you can find these for like 100 bucks, I think that's a steal. If you can find these for like 130, I probably wouldn't spend more than 130 on these, especially considering that if you want to just if you're going down the used route and if you just spend 30 more dollars, you can buy 
the AirPod second generation pro for only 160. But if you're only wanting to buy stuff that's brand new, you guys will not be able to buy these brand new unless maybe you find someone on eBay, but there's always a risk doing that. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, find it helpful in any way, please subscribe, uh, thumbs up, uh, comment. If you guys have any questions, I'll try to answer all the questions I can. Uh, see you guys in the next one.